All right, back again, Luke here, and today I received an email from a guy who has a uh, Astro City, and he wanted to know how to change it from a horizontal monitor to a vertical one. So I'm going to try my best here in 10 minutes to give you an idea on how to do that, and anybody else who has a uh, an Astro City wants to know how to put it uh, put it vertical. Uh, things you're going to need. I got a screwdriver here, this is a Phillips screwdriver. You might need a, a pair of vice grips or a pair of pliers as well. And uh, I've got a socket wrench, this is a 12 millimeter. So, one of the first things that you're going to have to do with this cab, which is the hardest part, is um, you're going to have to remove this rail. Now, this is one of the rails that sits on the back of the CRT monitor, and this holds the PCB in place for the, uh, the board for the CRT. Now there's two holes here that hold in one side of the board and there's another rail that's the exact same shape that holds in the other. So it just keeps the board flat. Now the design, will, I don't know why they did it, but the design of this cab here, it will allow you only to have one of these rails in place uh, when you go to rotate the monitor. If you have both of these rails in place, you won't be able to fit it in. And uh, it's really a pain because if you don't have the instructions to it, and if you've never rotated the monitor before, um, it's, uh, it's hard to understand why isn't it fitting in there. So let's get up underneath here and see if we can give you a little bit more of an easier idea. Here's the last rail, uh, the other rail that I have left in here. Now if you look up here, this, this is going to be kind of tricky. Let's see how much of an angle I can get on here. Uh, you can see the rail holding the board in place. Now it's holding it up vertically right now and uh, the key thing is to leave the rail in where it has the connector here on the side of the PCB. Leave this rail in. What that means is looking at it from the front, you're going to leave the left rail in and you're going to remove the right rail. So make sure that the one that has the connection on the PCB, leave that rail in. And uh, in order to take this rail out, when this uh, monitor is in the uh, vertical position, uh, or in the horizontal position, my bad, um, you can remove a couple of the screws from the back. Uh, you have to remove the back panel here. You can remove a couple of the screws from the back. The other ones have to be removed from the front. So once you can get that rail out, um, you're, you're almost halfway there. Let's get back up here. Uh, as far as getting to the uh, the screws on that uh, the front side of that rail while the monitor's still in, that's another story. Uh, in behind here, there's going to be uh, a few different screw holes. Um, there's going to be some screws that are holding on this uh, fiberglass fiberglass front, and you're going to have to remove them from the back here. Once you remove those, what you're going to do is unlock your uh, your board uh, your uh, control panel up here, and lift the top part open. And you're going to notice you're going to have uh, one, two, three here. Remove all three of those screws and uh, you're going to want to disconnect this one here. Uh, it's going to be the far left uh, cord. This is for your speakers which are mounted inside the, uh, the top part here. Now this is going to be the tricky part. Let's see if I can do this. Once you get all of the screws taken out, let's see if we can get this done here up here. Once you get all the screws taken out, you should be able to lift this out and lift this right off if you've done everything right. So if you notice here, we got the top part off. Now this is fiberglass, so it's not that heavy at all. Um, just the key point is, woo, make sure it doesn't fall over. Uh, make sure you disconnect the speaker wire and uh, sometimes it comes out easy sometimes it doesn't now once you get that off you have uh, the monitor all exposed and uh, down here what's nice is um, when this is in the uh, let's see if I can get it here uh, kinda you can kinda see it um, when this is in the uh, horizontal position you can look behind here and you can see there's the screw that's holding the rail on so that's holding the one rail on, and then the other screw uh, will be holding the, right there. That'll be holding the other rail on, so you can take it off a lot easier. Um, you might have to crawl up underneath here and go from the bottom with the screwdriver uh, to get it undone. But uh, once you get that rail removed, while it's still in the uh, horizontal position, then you're set, and then you're ready to go. 
Key points you want to make sure of is make sure that these wires, um, you can either disconnect them. These are for your uh, different pots, uh, for your uh, size, for your color, um, your different adjustment settings. You can either disconnect this cable or you can just make sure that it's out of the way because uh, when you rotate this monitor, you don't want it to rip. With this monitor here, what you're going to do is you're going to take off um, these... Uh, nuts here. There's one here and it's going to be connected to the bracket. Don't remove the nuts or the screws from the uh, the monitor holding it to the steel plate. Remove the nuts that are holding uh, this steel plate to this uh, brass plate. And you got one here, one here, one here, and one here. And uh, this is where your socket wrench will come in handy. Um, if you use the uh, 12 millimeter, it'll snap right on there and you can get it off. Uh, don't worry about uh, trying to hold the monitor while you take these off because these are all on posts. Let's see if I can take this off here for you. I just got done putting this thing back together yesterday and I'm taking it apart again. Oh well, though. if it helps somebody out, then that's all I care about. But um, when you take these, uh, these nuts off, you can see that there is, um, there's a post that's holding it on. So you don't have to worry about the monitor dropping. Now, once you get all four of these off, this is the tricky part. What you're going to do is, put this back on here. So the monitor is going to be sitting like this. What you're going to do is you're going to take that monitor and you're going to rotate it like, uh, how, do, how does this work? I'm trying to think here. You're going to rotate it to the right, I think. Wait a minute. I believe it's to the right. Um, you might have to double check. Check to see where the cord is. Let me see here. It's flat like this. Rotate it like this. Yeah, to the right. And um, make sure that you have the cords out of the way. The hardest part about this is um, it's not a matter of strength per se, although this monitor is really heavy. This is a 29-inch monitor, so it's not, uh, it's not the lightest thing in the world. But um, this panel is what's going to be really difficult. Now, the distance between this panel and this monitor, you have probably about a foot here. And what that means on your back is it means you're going to be straddling this, um, this control panel and you're going to be kind of leaned over trying to lift this monitor out and rotate it and push it back on. Now, this is something where a couple of guys would actually be better than one. Um, I don't want you to try and uh, mess with this if, um, if you try and lift it out and you think this is too heavy. Uh, definitely get another guy to help you. It'll, uh, it'll make the job a lot easier. Once you get it rotated and once you get it back on these posts, just make sure you lift up, push it on, and uh, secure it back down. And you'll have your, uh, your monitor from a horizontal to a vertical in no time flat. And uh, you don't have to disconnect any of the power wires. Uh, one thing that I do re recommend using, um, just for safety's sake, is I, I use some rubber padded gloves. Uh, these will help to eliminate like cuts for one, and also eliminate any sort of static electricity shock that might come from uh, around the tube. So once you get that done, once you get it all bolted back in place, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your, uh, your fiberglass piece here. And what's nice about these... Uh, these Astro Cities is uh, you take the screws out of the back here and uh, this black piece actually comes out and you can rotate it. Put the screws back in and uh, instead of having the borders on the bottom, what you notice is the borders now become part of the sides. And uh, this is a, a cab that is meant to be vertical or horizontal. It's one that's meant to be rotated. So once you get all that done, you uh, just do the opposite, push it back on, make sure that you hook up all your connections here. If you disconnected the one for the pots here on the right, make sure you connect that back up and make sure to connect your speakers back up because uh, it'll be a, a little bit of uh, troubleshooting here if you put it back together and you're like, why don't I have any sound? So, and then uh, put your screws back in. Once you get everything back uh, set up, you can just uh, hit the switch on your power and uh, you'll be back to uh, gaming like this in no time flat. So that's just a little tutorial here on how you can change around your monitor from a horizontal to a vertical. Hopefully it was a little bit helpful. And uh, like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.